So this time we're going to find the first term in the derivative sequence for which a19 equals 49, 42, sorry, 42, and d is negative 2 thirds. And so this time we're going to use that same formula we just had, the same one as this, a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. So we're going to use that same formula again. But this time, instead of us finding that last term or that specific term, this time we're going to find the first term. So here we're going to find the first term. Now, first term, what is the symbol for that? Or what, is, what do we write down for the first term? A1. So here, we are trying to find A1. So that means A1 this part right here, we don't know what that is yet, so we leave that alone. We don't touch that. So that means everything else should be given to us. So that we should have A in already. We should have what N is. We should have what D is. We should have all of those. So let's take a look at what they did give us, though. So this part right here is what they did give us. So we know that the letter D is negative 2 over 3. So let's go put that in right there. And then they gave us A19 equals 42. So if we're talking about AN there, if we write AN in this spot, match up with it. What number is N? N is 19. So it's in the exact same spot right there, right? So visually, you can see that's in the exact same spot. So I mean, n is 19. So when we write everything in here, and I'm going to do this in a couple of steps. I'm going to write a19 for this part. A1. We know that n, we said, was 19. And with that, don't think it too hard. That's one of the biggest parts. Everybody thinks that math is so hard that this should be something like long and drawn out and hard. It's not. It's make it simple and easy, guys. So if A19 is 42, that means the 19th term in the sequence is 42. Then write that. The 19th term is 42. All right, so put that in, and then we go ahead and work it out. We find what A is. A1, sorry. Hopefully the dots aren't mess with, messing with anybody's eyes. If it is, I'm sorry. My fault. So it looked, it looked kind of cool when I originally did it, so I was hoping it's going to be cool again today. Alright, so with it, we have all of these pieces going on. And so we're going to go ahead and work everything out. So, you know, 19 minus 1 is 18. So that should be the first easy thing, because that's just minus 1. Multiply 18 times negative 2 over 3, and you should get a, a negative 12. And be careful when you're copying. This is not like an 8 or anything of that sort. That is A1 again. So all the way down, A1 is the same. So don't make any weird gestures or anything of that sort. All right, let me add 12 to both sides. What is your final answer? 54, yes. So 54 is the first term in the sequence. And if you want to, you should be able to find the next couple of terms in the sequence and get all the way up to number 42, or 47. I'm sorry, 19. You should be able to figure out, when you do all that, you should be able to figure out that the, um, the 19th term is, is 42. So if you want to work backwards, you can do that. So here, we just did example one where we went from, um, they gave you A1, N, and D. We had to find the, a, the, um, the 47th term or that, um, the AN term. 
this time they gave you the A in term, they gave you D, and they gave you what N was, and you had to find what A1 is. So you're going to have to be able to do all of that type of stuff. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is to practice. <laughs>